Hey, did you hear that there's some podcast called Shit Town? Yeah. What the fuck, dude? They're yeah. stealing our whole vibe. Yeah, the people from Serial stole Serial. <laughs> they, they found out. I, right. Ira Glass found out about our shit. Yeah. There's Crime Town and Shit Town. Crime Town. That's not as bad as Shit Town. Shit Town stole our essence, dude. That's a bad word and town. Let's <laughs> fuck them up. That's you forget that like, the town. first 13 episodes of this show prominently featured copyright infringement. <laughs> <laughs> that like, I don't fucking... Even if someone launched a podcast also called Come Town, I would not give a shit. <laughs> dude, that's why... That was See, rule, that's actually. the difference between you and me, dude. No. Uh, I'm a, how I'm far the enforcer, off the deep dude. end I am. I don't believe in intellectual property rights. <laughs> no. Oh, Michael, do I. Yeah. Michael doesn't either. What does oh, that okay. mean? I'm a copy copy leftist. Yeah. What, what does that mean? You can just use whatever the fuck you want. Yeah. You can't I don't, I can't, you know, you know, and I'm not even like coming in from like a, a critical mm-hmm. standpoint. It, it just doesn't make sense to me the idea that someone can own a fucking expression. Mm. Like if you uh, like, I because I I think freedom of expression is very important, and like I, I would support the idea, even though I think it's like wrong, for you to be able to you know go to a very crowded area and say you know uh, all black people are subhuman or whatever right. use racial slurs it's fine that should all be protected speech yeah so if that's okay I don't understand why you couldn't go to the same space and just draw Mickey Mouse and say <laughs> will you give me five dollars for this you'll get thrown in jail for that and it just doesn't like I don't understand why one's okay and it's not the other and I'm using that you know not to say that it, it hate speech or whatever should be illegal but that intellectual property rights really just don't make sense to me i agree yeah and i think we can just have norms like if you're doing totally unoriginal work yeah people can say oh that's not good i don't want to reward that but yeah it doesn't get re- and then that's it's also it bullshit because even then that would be copyright infringement the mickey mouse example because you say oh well you're taking money away from disney and it's mm-hmm. like not really no right. it's not right, like right, somebody's right, right. gonna be like oh no i don't need to consume anything disney produces anymore because i have this drawing of mickey mouse <laughs> yeah. that i can look at at my home and i only paid five dollars for it to some insane man <laughs> there is a um there's a bodega in east williamsburg which isn't there anymore that used to have um on it the sign for the bodega it's had the shrek donkey and Winnie the Pooh. Hell yeah! yeah. Dude, well, like a big part, a big part of Latino culture is copyright infringement. <laughs> yeah, it's yeah Looney Tunes. <laughs> yeah, Looney Tunes. They love Looney Tunes. I love you go to like Bushwick or any like Mexican neighborhood. Half the businesses are like Disney font. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> There's a place on uh, on like uh, the Lower East Side. Um. Uh, no, sorry, it's in like Gramercy, and it's. Uh, Sorry, somebody's texting me something. <laughs> Who's texting you? Why are you texting on the show? Come on, I'm dude. Busy. Put your phone, put your phone on. away, dude. Uh, no. Is it business? Oh, I'll finish the story. It, uh, there's so a there's place, place on the Lower East Side, side called the CBGBs, and that's where all the rockers used to go. You got the Ramones, the Stone Temple Pilots. <laughs> yeah. You got fucking... And if you thought that was good, now it's a John Varvatos. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it is a John Varvatos. <laughs> and there's a CBGBs in Newark Airport now. <laughs> wow. Truly, the pauper has become the prince. <laughs> <laughs> I remember my first time at CBGBs. I saw a yellow card. It was fucking awesome, dude. Wait, when it was still open? Oh yeah, dude. I saw you a went up there. Card. You saw? Oh, dude. Speaking of yeah. yellow card, you know what street Stav and I were on today in Santa Monica and uh, and Venice. Ocean Avenue. Ocean Avenue. Oh, the, wow. Sorry, uh, it's Gramercy. There's a place. It's called... Uh, <laughs> oh, yeah. The <laughs> logo is just the Paramount logo, but it's called Danny's Two Cleaners. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. In New York, so many businesses are just called the original business two. <laughs> it's like it's not a fucking sequel to a business. That's not what how is? this shit they works. One. They're like ninety Ray's pizzas, right? There's like famous original Ray's, there's original Ray's. Oh, I don't know. I'm just yeah, talking yeah. about the ones that are like not Ray's. There's a Ray's pizza by mine that's called not Ray's pizza. Oh, that's funny. Yeah. No, I just mean like there's shit like there's Olympic Diner Two. Shit like that. It's like just name an Olympic diner. Who gives a fuck? I like in DC how everyone's fighting about who had the original jumbo slice. Yeah, yeah. Like yeah. the idea of having a pizza and just like we're not gonna cut it yeah, into yeah, as many yeah. slices. <laughs> <laughs> it's a bigger pizza, and we're not cutting it as often. <laughs> And uh, <laughs> this is the Tesla of pizza. Yeah, We're you, changing the pizza game up. You know what? You Th- sold that idea. Thank you for putting 
the idea of copyright infringement and intellectual property into terms I can understand. Because <laughs> I was not following earlier when you guys were talking about like Mickey Mouse. But when you talked about Jumbo Slice, I'm right there with you and I agree. I think you can't take intellectual property. Now. Right. You can't own ideas, brother. Hell yeah, dude. Yeah, yeah the man. idea of a caveman, he figures out fire, and then another caveman's like, oh, yeah, I'm going to do that so that I don't freeze the... Sorry, uh, mom. That's, it's that's my mine. Thing. That's mine. So it's, it's basically the elevated version of what we've talked about before on the podcast of copying. Like, yeah. hey, he's copying. Stop copying me. Yeah, it's like now corporations so, are literally eight-year-old boys. So then what What happens if... So there's just no value in coming up with a good idea, like a good well, idea first? Well, like... If you look at the history of, like, books and stuff, most of them were held in libraries. The idea that, like, you individually own your books. Like, it was a public or semi-public. Right, 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 right. Uh, like, uh, consolidated collection right. of, of documents. So it's sort of like giving a property right in order to have artists be compensated instead of just like, oh, well, we'll have patrons of the art. Right, 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 right. Yeah, exactly. And... Uh, Look at this. All these years later in 2016 and 2017, a little plucky <laughs> podcast by the name of Cumtown <laughs> would find a website called Patreon.com. Yeah, we're the, we're the future of ideas capitalism here. Yeah, it's oh, true. Yeah. Yeah, ideas social. Professor Lawrence Lessig <laughs> would be so proud 